Um, so we're back with our next installment of our accessories for all four seasons. And this episode is going to be about the springs. We're going to talk about light spring, true spring, and bright spring. Yes, we will. And let's dive right into it. Never mind. All right, so let's start our spring chat. Accessories for the three spring seasons. And the first image here is, I think you put this one up, didn't you, Kate? I did. I picked this for bright spring. Um, to me, rainbows are just a very quintessentially bright spring concept. And I just kind of happened upon this image and I thought, you know, what better season for this than bright spring. I love the, you know, translucence of the beads. I thought that was like a really good um, detail where they're not all these like opaque kind of dark beads, like they let the light shine through. I even liked the um, the silver hooks for it. I felt like it was just a nice um, kind of nod to bright spring's cooler side. Um, overall, it just made me think of like going to the beach, which for me was a very bright spring concept. Yes, I really like rainbow, the rainbow image for all three springs, really. And um, I like the fact that these will dangle, that the, the hooks will make them dangle, and there'll be a lot of fun and movement in these earrings. So I think that also makes it a perfect bright spring accessory. Yeah, sundress and sandals in these. Oh, that would be really nice. Mm -hmm. All right. I picked this one for Bright Spring and <clears throat> well, the colors um, are Bright Spring. And I think this was just a fascinating way to use a scarf, not as a scarf, but as a, mm, a bag em embellishment for your bag. Is that how you say it? I, I've i never seen this before. I, I um... Like an accessory for your accessory. Accessory for even yes, that is that a lovely spring thing that even even your accessories have accessories. So because of the the um, lighthearted fun of it, I like. Yeah, it. I love how they like wrapped it around the handle. I thought that was really interesting because you know a lot of the time people will just kind of like tie you know a scarf to their bag, and I think that can look great. But when I saw this, I was I was like, wow, I never thought to do that. Like I thought it was really unique and a good way to, you know, brighten up a neutral bag too, because I think that, you know, a darker navy can be a good neutral, you know, for bright spring, as long as it's, you know, relatively vibrant. And I thought this was like a really good way to just kind of, you know, make it a little more vivid. And then when you just want it to be plain navy again, you can just take it off. I thought it was really smart. I think so too. And, and the, the way you use this scarf as an embellishment and it makes the navy not so heavy um, mm -hmm. you, know, you know we know that uh, bright spring has a bit of winter in it so that dark clear navy is is a beautiful neutral but it's a really really interesting way to bring some fun and changeability into your accessories okay and true spring and we had a little bit of a <clears throat> discussion about this, didn't we? We did. <laughs> well, I, I was the one who picked it. And I picked it because of the rainbow quality of the, the hoops and then the dangle that they dangle. And but they may they might be a little matte and dense or the, the color, the burgundy might be a little dark. Isn't that what we talked about? I like, I actually like the the texture. I think I was on the fence about the burgundy initially, and even maybe this, you know, slightly darker kind of red next to it, where I was just like hemming and hawing, you know, is this too, you know, dark? Is it maybe like too far into autumn? But then like the more I looked at it, the more I felt like, one, I was overthinking it, kind of like you're saying, like, it's not a religion, nobody's going to come, you know, arrest you. And I felt like overall, you know, you're right that this rainbow, um, this kind of like fruit salad type rainbow is a great true spring piece. And I actually really liked the the texture. I thought it was a good example of how, you know, true spring and the springs in general don't always have to wear, you know, hyper glossy stuff. Like it doesn't always have to be super shiny. Um, 
I really liked it actually in the end. Yes, I I I do too. I do understand about the burgundy, but I think that if you didn't um, take this as an uh, permission to wear it with a big dark burgundy coat, because that would make it really autumny and heavy. I think the the burgundy is small enough that it it doesn't weigh it down, and it's very mm -hmm. light because of the is it threads or something that's wound around. It's very uh, uh, delicate. Mm. And I wonder if this like outer you know rim is maybe wood too. In which case, I think it's a good example of how you know springs can wear wood tones too. They just need to be a lot lighter than what the autumn would wear. True, because it's very delicate. The ring is very delicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I like it, and uh, I like it too. The more I looked at it, the more I I liked it. But at first, I was like, "Oh no, burgundy," you know. But oh. I do really like it as well. Oh, this is why we have these chats because I I got challenged and and we um we looked at it together. Yeah. All right. Here's one that. You pick. Yeah, I picked this one. Um, I just really like, for some reason, coral and turquoise together for True mm. Spring. I'm not really sure. I think it just makes me think of like eating papaya on the beach or something. <laughs> like it's just very, um, you know, beachy. It's like sunny. Um, I like, you know, that kind of, even though True Spring is a fully warm season, I like that impression of warm and cool contrast, like within the palette. Um, even though, you know, technically speaking, all the colors are warm, you know, we still tend to read, you know, more blue colors as cool. And I just like that contrast of the two. And then I thought this was also just a really great example of True Springs shade of gold, where it's like very yellow, it's very sunny, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's not heavy. Um, I just really liked it. Mm -hmm. I like the coral and turquoise because for True Spring, because of the perfect complementary color energy that it brings so mm -hmm. and also, these are particularly delightful uh because of the the dangly the the you see the coral is is hanging loose so it will bring movement oh, yeah. the movement of the earrings which is really really a spring spring thing the the energy and the movement i think these that's were a good point yeah, isn't it interesting how these two are two very different true springs? They're both true springs, but they're, this is kind of the woman who likes the natural fibers, and, and that's okay. You can be a true spring and have that kind of a style, and then you can be a true spring and have this kind of a style, and you're still just as much of a true spring. Good. I agree. And I, I even debated, you know, like, should I also pick earrings? Because I'd already seen that, you know, you had picked earrings. But I was like, no, I think these are both good examples of True Spring, like you said, in just kind of different ways. And I think, like you say, that autumns are the hair, hair accessories for autumns. I think there's something about earrings and, and springs because of the playfulness near the, the, the face. Mm-hmm. So nothing wrong with that. And here's my light spring. And here's another example of belt over scarf, which I find fascinating. And she has tied two scarves together and they're different scarves, but they go together color wise and uh, tied them together with a belt. I think it's just fantastic. And the bag and everything. I, I like everything about it, even the round sunglasses. Yeah, I love the sunglasses because they are like a little bit, um, you know, translucent. Like you can kind of see that warmth through them. And I thought like the, the scarves being tied together was really brilliant. Just like how we saw that creativity of, of using a scarf with the bright spring. Like it was just like another way to be really creative with um scarves mm -hmm. and I find like women tend to collect scarves and then like we don't know what to do with them <laughs> like a, a lot of the people I talk to you know will say oh I have all these beautiful scarves but like I have no idea how to wear them other than just like looping them around my neck and I thought this was a really like cool like animated example of that mm -hmm. um I also liked the texture on the bag because I think that 
that's something we tend to associate with, you know, more muted seasons. But I think that with this color, like it works really well. And again, it's like, you know, springs don't have to wear completely shiny, like textureless items, you know, at all. There can still be texture. It's just going to be a little, you know, different from how, you know, an autumn might do it or just the colors need to be right. And I loved this like shiny bang gold too. I thought that was really great. Yeah, I like that like it a lot. All right, here's your light spring image with accessories. Yeah, this is my light spring, and it kind of reminded me of the one that you picked for light summer a little bit, uh -huh. yeah. um, where, you know, her accessories are neutral. <clears throat> I tried to, you know, just imagine this if, again, she had a black bag and black shoes, and it just looks completely different. I think it detracts from you know, the magic of this kind of light coral. Um, I just really liked this image in general. I really liked how the shoes and the bag do coordinate really well. Like springs don't have to have like, you know, a million colors at any given time. Like they can have a more like, you know, classic style or a more restrained style as far as color goes. Um, and then I really liked all of her like light shiny gold accessories as well. Um, mm -hmm. I thought these like drapey necklaces were really pretty. Um, I just felt like very soothed looking at the image overall. It was like very calm, um, very fresh. Uh, it's delightful. Those those delicate thin gold necklaces. And, and then again, if those narrow strappy sandals were black wouldn't that be just tragic <laughs> tragic it would it would ruin the whole outfit so picking uh, uh, accessories in your lighter neutrals it's just magic for those light seasons mm -hmm. all right that brings us to the end of this chat about the spring accessories and we are left with winters and that's coming up next <laughs> 